performance from the champions, a performance of uh, champions. Lee Grace getting the scoring going uh, in the first half, uh, and then Rovers uh, really powering home uh, in the second half. We're delighted to be joined uh, by Rovers manager uh, Stephen Bradley. Uh, Stephen, did that look as good uh, from your point of view in terms of a performance as it did from the lads' point of view? Yeah, it felt that way. Sometimes when you're in it, you don't see it for what it really is, but it felt that we were really comfortable. Um, I think the players have been in a good place for a long time, and and uh, everyone's talking about pressure and, and, and everything else, but I knew it already. You, you can feel it. That's when the experience comes to the fore. We've been here, we've done it, we know what it takes, and, and we shout that tonight. Um, you, your team seemed emotionally at the pitch of the night. I don't know how much of your preparation was about getting them mentally right for it, because they were, they were mentally right for a Dublin derby, and they looked mentally right for a big, a big match in the title running as well. Yeah, one of the years we felt we could improve this year was working with a psychologist and, and we've been lucky enough to get a really good one in and Mary Larkin and, and we work with her every week as a group and as individuals. So uh, you can see that the players are playing with that freedom in their minds and, and no pressure, which is when they play like that, there's not a team in the country that can match them. Um, we talked about it before the game with the lads that one of your jobs after the disappointment of the European campaign was to refocus the squad. Um, how did you manage to do that? That's pretty simple. At, at this club, the level we play at, you're going to win and lose games. You're in Europe, uh, you're playing against good teams, and if you're not at it, you get beat. So it's pretty simple to understand why we got beat. We know that. We want to be better. We wanted to get the group stages. We weren't good enough this year. Uh, but we do everything possible to get back there next year and, and try and make sure we're in the group stages. Mm. There is a lot of noise, Stephen, around your team in terms of it's obviously an Asian team in one sense, but you have a lot of young players coming through. But how do you deal with that? And you said you mentioned psychologists, but there has been a bit of disappointment coming out of Europe. So how, how like you've obviously responded tonight? That's the best you've played in a while for me. Mm. And yeah, how have you dealt with that? Yeah, I'd agree with you. It's the best we've played in quite some time. Um, like I said, it's it's pretty easy to do when you have a fantastic group of players that lead the dressing room. Uh, we taught each other open, honestly. Um, there's no, we don't pull any punches. When we're not good enough, we, we own it. And uh, But I trust these players. Um, I trust what they do. We can have bad weeks, we're human. Uh, we can have bad games. But over the course of the season, I know these boys step up and, and they did tonight. Yeah, They looked like they were enjoying themselves second half. Is that, is that fair to say? I mean, in terms of the way they were linking up, I mean, Neil's goal was just a thing of beauty, but it looked like a sense of, of release about them, a sense of cutting, cutting loose on the night. Yeah, that's the most pleasing aspect of it because everyone outside is talking about pressure and trying to win four in a row and four teams in a title race, and, and the players are just playing as if it's a pre-season game. They're playing with intensity, but they're playing with that freedom in their mind. And, and like I said, when good players play with freedom, they're very hard to stop. Yeah, how good is that, Ian, what, what Stephen's saying there, that the players can go out on night like this with that atmosphere, with that pressure, and play, like as Stephen says, it, like it's a pre-season friendly? Yeah, it's fantastic, and it's testament to the group. I, I think not only the 11 they have on the pitch, they've the squad that comes off the bench, and even lads that are in the stand. And Is that a big thing that you have to deal with weekly? On It must be a tough task to put an 11 on the pitch, and what's the dressing room like in that sense? Yeah, it is, but I think uh, we've learned over the years that if we want to be successful, that it takes everybody. Um, and the group have really bought into that. Are they happy? Of course they're not happy when they're not playing. We all know that. Um, but you take last week, we beat them dark. Dylan, Dylan is very, very good in the game. Um, Liam Bort is very good in the game, and, and they come out tonight because it's a different type of game. And they accept that. They're not happy with me, obviously, but they accept that. They understand the greater good of the team. And, uh, and that's what it's always been about. It's been about the group, not the individual. Uh, last word then, one of the things you talked about before the game was about how good Bowes had been in attacking sense. You restricted them to very little this evening. That must be very satisfying. Yeah, we were really unhappy with the first half against some dark out possession. We gave too many chances in transition. We know that's how teams like to play against us. I think Bowes are the most dangerous team in the league in transition when they're at it. And, and we knew we had to really get our distance right, we had to get our balance right. And we had to be really aggressive out the pitch, and, and we did that um, all throughout the game and, and nullified Afalavi, who's a very good player, but if you isolate him, um, you can obviously take care of him. Job's not done yet, Stephen. Um, Derry won very impressively this evening. You have a couple of weeks to, to get yourself ready for that one. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, we're good. We're in a good place. Uh, we refresh, and uh, when Derry comes around, we'll be fine. We like that pitch. It's a big pitch. It suits us, and we'll go up there and try and win the game. Stephen, congratulations. Um, well done tonight. Great performance. Uh, Stephen Bradley there. We'll let you get back to the lads. I'm sure that dressing room will be uh, just as, as noisy as it was here in the stands uh, when you get in there. So we'll let you go, Stephen. Um, we're